Good morning, guys. Haven't filmed a YouTube video in forever. I asked a bunch of people for questions on Instagram, so we're gonna do a Q&A. But Mitchell's also here, and I'm taking him to get donuts, which is um, an inferior dessert, as everyone knows, because I'm gonna convert him to Team Cookie this week, whether he likes it or not. Team Donut is always going to be the reigning champ. I'm sorry. That's what he thinks. So at least you have his opinion at the beginning of the week. So Mitchell's here to help us out with the cookie company um, because we're going to take a bunch of cookies down to or over to Houston for summer shredding. Um, but yeah, let's show you the donuts that we're about to get. Uh, I figured I'd just like warm his palate up so he could really appreciate the good stuff later. <laughs> We have a sour cream, a barbarian filled, <laughs> a pineapple fritter, apple fritter, and a bunch of little bunch of little nugs. Cause I wanted to try them all. Hey, well, taste test. Go for it. All right, I'll go sour cream first because I've never had a sour cream donut. What? <laughs> Babe, is that your favorite one? Yes. And where are we? We're in our new temp kitchen. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Good? Yep. Wow. It was really sweet. <laughs> but really good. That's a big pineapple fritter. Take another bite. <laughs> All right. So overall, what do we give Dandy's donuts? Mm. Um, eight and a half out of time. That's good. This is the kitchen space that we're going to be renting now. Um, instead of doing shared kitchen space, uh, we're getting everything moved in here now, painting it, getting it ready, and hopefully we'll be all moved in in about two to three weeks. I figured I'd show you guys this so you can see a before and an after. We finished some painting and cleaning and putting together things. Now we're headed to the gym, um, but I figured I'd answer some of the questions that were asked uh, on one of my posts on Instagram. And so someone asked, has our in intimacy been affected since living with our with my parents and has it affected our relationship? The answer is no to both of those. Concur. When he asked me before we started this like recording, I was like, uh, no and no. And then And then I said, Mitchell, I'll take you to pound town every night. And then Mitchell goes, I'm just gonna jump out the car. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then have we considered doing a reality TV show? I mean, if someone wants to approach us and do a reality TV show on us, and I'm I'm okay, all for here, it. Okay, here's why I wouldn't though, because they just create dramatic situations out of like nothing, and I think it is kind of doctored, you know. So I don't need anybody thinking that I have some dramatic life. And then someone said, "Have you considered moving near Aubrey's family, or do you both prefer warmer states?" And I would say that um, we've considered it. We'd like to have a house in Montana as well as a house down here. So. My parents actually just bought a house, um, and I'll see it in a couple of weeks or so for the 4th of July, but that's where we'll stay when we are up there, so we don't really need a house yet. What's your biggest pet peeve of me? I'd have to think about that. Um, the answer for Aubrey is that <laughs> she is like, it's just, she's a little messy. And it's not like she means to be, and she tries to clean up after herself. She just doesn't. You say this every time. Well, it's my biggest pet peeve. I have so many that I can't even come up with one right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't think of anything. What Probably was just you. Oh, in okay. Gen in general. That's rude. All yourself, right. your personality. Um, what was one of the biggest struggles you both faced initially living together? Um, it was a hard to sleep in the same bed, or. I think my, personally, like, what was our biggest struggle when we first started living together? Oh. And mine would be just like, you got someone else in your house all the yeah, time. Yeah, I didn't really, I didn't really have any big issues with it. It was more Brad. He had never really lived with someone else, and um, so he didn't really know how to 
share like even if I wore his t-shirt he would be like that's my shirt <laughs> I'd be like yeah but yeah but she'd wear like my favorite shirts like when I was trying to wear them the next day oh you have like a hundred shirts no that's not true anyway we'll continue this later uh, so the question is how long have Aubrey and I been into fitness and are we comfortable or when did we get comfortable coaching people so Aubrey and I have been working out both of us for like over 15 years and um, we didn't start like fitness Instagram until about two years ago. Um, and like, I would still say that I'm not 100% comfortable coaching people. And it's just because like I have a respect for everyone's different. And so just like when I drove a submarine while I was in the military, I wasn't comfortable driving it even though I was good at it because I respected what could happen if I did it wrong. Whether, or just about Brad and I's like trust um, for each other, especially on social media. I think maybe in the beginning it was a little bit weird because, you know, I'd have guys messaging me and he would have girls messaging him, so it was just a matter of communicating about that. And honestly, at the end of the day, like now where we're at right now, um, it doesn't like it doesn't bother me at all, and I don't think it bothers Brad. Um, it's our job, but at the end of the day, if, you know, if he's gonna cheat on me or something, like I'm probably gonna find out, and you know that you handle it when you get to that point but there's no there's no use fussing over it right now when nothing's actually happening so and someone asked if anyone's tried to break us up and, and I would say no not that I know of yeah someone trying to get you if they tried I don't think it'd work somebody asked whether anybody had judged us when we first started posting on Instagram and um, my family, no, because they're not really on social media. Um, I think I have to explain it to them, like what I do and why I do it. But I would say more so, like my CrossFit people didn't really understand it. They thought it might have been like vain or something, and um, so that took a little bit of explanation. And I may have lost some people through that. How are you able to stay in shape? Does counting macros actually work? Have a healthy balance. Like have your staple meals, like a protein shake in the morning for breakfast or. Always incorporate your micronutrients, but um, I like donuts and I need to incorporate those or it'll be a very short-lived life for me. Ditto. <laughs> when are we going to Disney next? Hopefully soon, because I love Disney. Someone asked how much sugar should you consume in a day and the answer is all of it. All of it, especially in donuts. Yeah, um, or cookies because that's a better dessert. But anyways, it, it doesn't really matter. Like stay within your macronutrients. Like obviously if you're only getting carbs from sugar, that's probably not the greatest for you. Um, but at the end of the day, like if someone has 100 grams of sugar and the other person has 50, it depends on how much of their macronutrients that takes up. So, I mean, there's no set answer. Are you recording? I couldn't decide between a burrito and tacos, so I just kind of got both. <laughs> Krispy Kreme has the original glaze that are filled now with chocolate or like vanilla or something. I don't know, but I got a dozen of them. They freaked out like a dozen was a lot. There's three of us. It's only four each. It's like, huh. got more fingers than that. <laughs> <laughs> so full right now but I think I can probably take a bite of one of these and I don't want the chocolate one I want the vanilla even though okay you guys ready for this mm. Mm -hmm. oh wow oh, wow <laughs> you guys this is so good <laughs> I'm not even kidding <laughs> <laughs> you gotta try it. Right, well, it's answer. like they took Krispy Kreme donuts and like made them even better than they already were. Answer this top question. Read out loud answer. If you could eat only one food forever, oh, what would it be? My gosh. Right? No cookies or donuts. Pizza. No. And what'd you say? A cheeseburger? What? Well, Alright, so. I would. I just want all these. No, what food would you eat if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life? You told me a bacon cheeseburger, right? Yeah, bacon cheeseburger. Wow. Mine would be steak. Such a meathead. Steak. <laughs> meat. You like it? Mm-hmm. It's so, it's so creamy. 
Good morning. We didn't record anymore yesterday because Aubrey had an out-of-body experience after she tried that Krispy Kreme donut. Um, she was just in heaven. She loved it. Um, we took Miley on a long walk this morning. Hey, Miley. Um, and now we are going to go to Five or Daughter's Kitchen, which is Five Daughters Bakery in Nashville, like one of their restaurants. They have their donuts there. And then we're gonna work out and go to the beach and maybe answer some more questions. Who knows? Ready? You have to stay home though. one of each donut, um, maple bacon, cinnamon, regular vanilla, chocolate, um, my favorite is the vanilla cream, like a straw, roasted strawberry one, sprinkles. I'm really excited to eat these. <laughs> Ready? This is amazing. Right? Mm -hmm. So good. Wow. Is it better than the Krispy Kreme one we had yesterday? Better than the Krispy Kreme. Do I still have stuff all over my face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, what do you think? That was a great donut. Is it is it number one donut spot yet? Give me number two. Oh. Number one still Mojo Donuts in Miami. You haven't tried them all yet, so. I haven't tried them all. <laughs> TBH, or TBD. <laughs> That's really good. All right, this might make it into my top. <laughs> They wanted donuts, but I want real food. So I got um, Gouda cheese grits with bacon and a fried egg and sourdough. And then I got breakfast tacos. So now I'm happy. Of this? Really good. Solid. Here. I'd be so full. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, don't drop that. What's your thoughts? <sighs> Uh, that definitely made it into my top two. That I, that was the best thing I've ever had. Five Dollars Bakery, the maple bacon one. Unbelievable. It had like maple filling inside the layers and it's a cronut. It was so fluffy and so delicious. And now I'm in a food coma. <laughs> Let's work out. Yeah. Let's go train. Sick pump, dude. <laughs> we got done at Five Daughters, or Daughters Kitchen. And we drove back, we drove to the gym, worked out. Then we went to the beach with our friends and we just got back from Walmart. <sighs> and we got lots of food, pizza, nacho fries from Taco Bell, um, flaming Hot popcorn, just everything. What are you doing? Uh, we haven't had a lot of protein today, so I'm up in the protein on a Buffalo chicken pizza from Wally World. Stay tuned for dessert. Um, one of the questions was if we're ever going to do a meet up at UF and next fall, I forget when, like September? October. October, we're going to a Gators football Florida game. Florida versus Auburn. Oh, Florida versus Auburn game. So I'll see you there. And that's it. This is my second piece of pizza. Are you gonna need a nacho cheese? Mm -hmm. I tried it and it wasn't the best. So, sticking with ranch. Did you have another question for me? No. We're basically just watching the screen of the Fat and Weird Cookie launch. Yeah. How many people are on the website right now? Yeah, and just like waiting for messages if someone has trouble like paying or, you know, so. Yeah, so there's. 1,319 people on the website right now, um, which means we're probably gonna sell out really fast, which means I'm gonna get emails saying that they hate us because we're selling out so fast. 
But anyways, yeah. Churro ice cream, salted caramel ice cream, unicorn ice cream, cotton candy, um, cereal. Okay, it's not good. It's not good. Break the ice creams. The Toy Story 4 churros, if you like churros, it's really good. Um, what's that one? The salted caramel blondie. Salted caramel blondie is really good. And the unicorn one, mm -hmm. that great value. From, yeah. from Walmart. $2. Really good. <laughs> it's really sweet though. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about it? it? Tastes like heaven. It tastes like birthday cake all the way. Thanks for watching us eat. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it. And share it. You're worth it. You're worth it. Eat some ice cream. How do you do? Way better than me. <laughs>